Stadium. So, curse of RA, there's this news. London Field Day reveals Aphex Twin and others for 2023. Absolutely crazy Aphex Twin playing, right? London Festival Field Day announced the first 21 acts uh, playing in 2023, 21, 21, 21. Return to Victoria Park on Saturday, August the 19th. Field Day has confirmed Aphex Twin as a headliner after teasing his return last week. Joining here would be Bonobo, Jayla G, Arka, um, Kilila, Fe- Fever Ray, Actress, LSDX, LSD XOXO, Juliana Huxtable, um, Sudane Archives, Tisha, Modrat, Subtract, Julia Tess, Mount Kimball, and Sir, what was that? Suru Singhi, I think his name is, or whatever that person's name is. So, great lineup, right? The issue I have with this, especially with Aphex Twin playing, headlining a show like this, is absolutely amazing, is that Field Day is legitimately, maybe I think, one of the worst festivals we have here in London. And the reason maybe isn't their fault because field day is usually in this park called victoria park which is in hackney which is a very trendy cool fun nice park to go to to cycle to run to watch the ducks and little pond and whatnot great amazing but unfortunately this park is basically in the middle of an entire um neighborhood like housing area like there's clouds is basically that circle the entirety of the park it's kind of in the middle um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Central Park, like a little mini version of Central Park, all these flats around it. But of course, the flats are so near to the park that they can hear everything happening in there. So when festivals happen, they obviously have to put a limiter on the volume. And the sound is so bad at these festivals because the noise pollution that neighbors complain about, which is, I think, they're right to complain about because it's just a public park, having a flipping full on you know, um, Coachella type parts festival there would probably be annoying as hell, especially if everyone pissing all over your flipping front door. But the noise is so muted, it's so limited that it makes it impossible to have a good time unless you go right to the front. And for me personally, when it comes to going to a festival, the whole point why festivals are amazing is number one, they're very cost effective in terms of you being able to see so many different amazing people for so you know, for less than what you'd pay maybe to see one person. So think of a price to see, you know, to see an Aphex, tw- Aphex Twin and an Arca flipping um, show, right? Separately. You're probably looking at about 50 to to £100 anyway per ticket. So if you can go to a festival and pay $100 or £100 to see two people that you like, plus six others that you don't know, it becomes good value for money. And also, it's it being a festival and it being in an outside place, in a, you know, in a field, in a park, or it may be in an open place, you can kind of pick little spots anywhere you want and kind of jam and chill. You can sit around a bag, you can sit on some benches, you can find a hill somewhere. You can just enjoy yourself and not be you know, confined to the usual thing that everyone does when they go to gigs, where you try and get as close as you can to the front or maybe just the side so you can hear and see everything. But if you have to do that, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of the, of the festival. But it's a completely different, you know, experience being at the front that is being at the back. But I remember seeing videos of people that went there. We're going there myself and hearing how bad the sound was just standing kind of near where the bars are. And I feel like the bar should be like a good kind of gauge on how good your sound is. Because at the bar, you should be like kind of feeling what's going on, tapping your feet, nodding your head and willing to kind of while you wait for your drink or wait to get served. But sometimes when you go to field day, you go to the bar and you legitimately can't hear the words of the song. You can maybe hear the melodies and the bass, but you can't hear the words. You can't hear what the person's saying. And the stage is only over there. It's absolutely crazy. So legitimately, the sound is terrible. And again, most of it has to do with local council issues. Maybe we feel that themselves don't want to put the sound up high. But I feel like Aphex Twin and Alka and all these people are kind of wasted on field day because the sound is so terrible with it being in Victoria Park. Now, maybe something has changed. Maybe there's been a whole long, um, co- you know, consolation, 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 whatever that word is, um, session be happening behind the scenes with labors and stuff where they've come to the agreement that they're going to, um, you know, allow them to crank the noise up for that one day and it'd be okay, not be an issue. Maybe that's the case. But from recent experience of going to a field day in the past, it is so underwhelming. And I feel like these bookings are kind of wasted on them. So as much as I'd want to go and see FX Twin and Arca perform live and maybe see someone like a Junior Hoxable again, a Subtract again, uh, LSD XOXO again. Oh, as I'm just realizing on a picture, um, LSD XOXO and Junior Hoxable actually playing back to back. So that should be absolutely cool. 
and maybe I can make right with Julian Huxtable after the last time that I bumped into a panorama by him. And, you know, I didn't have the best interaction with her. And she probably thought I was some creep. I don't know why, but hey. Um, but I would like to see them perform. But I feel like this lineup, in my opinion, is wasted on Victoria Park, personally. I feel like it's genuinely wasted on them because the sound is so terrible. I'm hoping it's not and it's different, but I feel like this lineup might be wasted on them going forward. But let's see, innit? Let's see. Obviously, tickets will be available. They're available now already. I'm not too, too sure. Probably you'll be able to buy them. Let's see if we can get them ready. This is courtesy of RA. See if we can buy the tickets here. Ready? Can you buy them? No, you cannot. It's not available yet. Tickets are going to be available from Friday, January 27th and from 11 a.m. So, obviously, if you're interested, make sure you click and you buy them. But I don't know, man. Victoria Park for me to see a festival, day festival in London. Waste of time. Not a good idea. Sounds going to be terrible. And you're going to leave it thinking, why the hell did I waste my money on that? Why the hell 